Good afternoon, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with A Trumpet for My People. Today is October 9th, 2020. And in this video, I want to talk to you about the possible return of the Star of Bethlehem. To begin this video, I want to share a video production by Nemesis Maturity, only two minutes in length, about the great conjunction that is coming of Jupiter and Saturn on the winter solstice of 2020. And after we're done with that, I want to go to the Stellarium program and I want to share with you where we are today with Jupiter and Saturn in the, in the sky. And I want us to walk through between now and the end of the year and we can see how this is coming into conjunction and will be in perfect conjunction, the closest it has been in nearly 400 years uh, in perfect conjunction exactly on the winter solstice. So as we begin this, let me uh, share this video from Nemesis Maturity. Okay, now that we've seen the information from Nemesis, Nemesis Maturity and we've seen the connection between the possibility of a Saturn-Jupiter conjunction in 7 BC representing the star of Bethlehem, now let us watch how Jupiter and Saturn are going to be coming together during the time of Hanukkah between December 10th leading up to the winter solstice on December 21st. Right in that last week we can see how close they become leading right up to and starting on Hanukkah. So what we're going to do now and this is a web-based program that you could do yourself. I'll leave the link for you in the description box. What I did first is I changed the location that I'm watching from to Jerusalem. Then I went and put in the search bar Jupiter and Jupiter uh, comes and will stay center for us. And then I opened up the time marker. So starting from today, if we move this forward, okay, we're gonna see 
the movement begin. Okay. It's interesting to note that today is the Feast of Tabernacles, the last day of the Feast of Tabernacles. And yet this amazing conjunction is not happening on Tabernacles, but it is going to be happening on Hanukkah. Okay. Now we've been sharing about the other signs that are happening in December between the total solar eclipse on December 14th, the Gemini meteor shower on December 14th, this great conjunction that's going to be happening between Hanukkah and the winter solstice. And it's interesting to note, now that we've reached uh, November 29th, there is a lunar eclipse uh, 14 to 15 days before the total solar eclipse that's happening on December 14th, there's a lunar eclipse that's happening on November 29th. Now the interesting the interesting thing about 11, about uh, November 29th is that this is the day that the Palestinian partition plan happened and the beginning of the rebirth of Jerusalem, the rebirth of Israel, uh, began on November 29, 1947, leading up to May 14, 1948. So on this key day in history, there's a lunar eclipse. And then we've also shared with you how there's a new, a new comet that was discovered on the Feast of Trumpets starting on September 17th through September 20th, 2020, Comet Erasmus was... Uh, was found and that is also going to be arriving at its perihelion event closest to the sun on December 13th so that's another sign that's pointing to this timing of Hanukkah okay so here is the first day of Hanukkah now we're at December 10th 2020 and we're going to see this amazing now if we go even if we go farther out okay let's just Pull this a little bit out and we're going to see how close this gets as we move through the week of Hanukkah, okay? Okay, here we have midweek Hanukkah, December 14th and 15th. See the new moon is coming. Actually went down to the left hand corner. We see it's a new moon. It's the beginning of the 10th Hebrew month of Tevet. Very uh, interesting to remember that it was in the 10th month that Esther was married. Esther was married in the 10th month and I think this is a beautiful connection with everything else we're watching on Hanukkah, at the end of the ninth month, the new moon of the tenth month, midweek Hanukkah, is the end of the ninth month, the beginning of the tenth month, the new moon, and the what could be the last trump, the Jubilee trumpet, on midweek Hanukkah, and the beginning of the tenth month, which is an amazing detail within all of this. So here we go. We're moving up to December 18th. See how close we're going to be coming now over the next two to three days? December 20th. December 21st. December 22nd. And December 23rd. Okay, so now once we hit December 23rd, it's moving away. So we have this conjunction that goes between December 22nd, December 21st, and December 20th. And this is from Jerusalem. I have this. Uh, so this is very visible from Jerusalem. 
uh, on the winter solstice. So the other thing I wanted to share with you guys is how all of this is coming together exactly within this time frame that we are watching the middle of the seven years. If we go back to June 4th, 2017, we have a 70 year confirmation from the 70th Pentecost of Israel. And we have a 50 year confirmation from the Six Day War in 1967. Both of these 70 year and 50 year markers were June 4th, 2017. If this is the end of the 70 years, the end of the 50 years, and we if, if we start the seven year timeline right there, then from Pentecost, June 4th, 2017, we have a 1290 day connection to midweek Hanukkah, December 14th, 2020. And if we go seven days later, and we go from the winter solstice, which would be, I see as the beginning of the reign of the Antichrist on December 21st, 2020, if we go from there 1260 days, it brings us to June 4th, 2024. And this is a seven year timeline from June 4th, 2017, which was Pentecost, to June 4th, 2024, which is the 27th day of the second month, according to Genesis 8:14 on the Hebrew calendar. This is the end of the flood. And we have the biblical revelation of a 1260 day reign of the Antichrist. And this is all shown to us here. The other thing we see within this is the two great American eclipses from August 21st, 2017 to April 8th, 2024. The midpoint exactly is midweek Hanukkah, December 14th, 2020. So isn't that amazing that all of this is lining up with the great conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn. Right there in Capricorn, the goat, which is the representation of the Antichrist, the goat. So this is what I wanted to share with you guys. I'm pray you guys are blessed. This is Steve Fletcher with the trumpet for my people. The sign of his coming revealed.